I'm going to show you the easiest way to install Sodium and Iris in Minecraft. Before you install the mods, you need Fabric, and I did a video on Fabric a while ago, which I'll link down below. You follow those steps, and then you can begin on downloading mods. So since 1.19 came out, having OptiFabric and OptiFine together doesn't really work anymore, so you needed an alternative, which is Sodium. The difference between Sodium and OptiFine is really simple. Optifine runs the game smoothly while Sodium gives you more FPS. Optifine had an option to give you a zoom feature. That's no longer a thing in Sodium. You have a spyglass now in Minecraft to zoom in, so basically that's a win-win there. Uh, but you can also download a mod for zooming. It's super simple for that. And also some of the features in Optifine, like customizing the sky and also particles, whether that's sort of not a thing in Sodium, but there's also mods and data packs and resource packs for those. So you wanna click file right here and then click the first one down here. You wanna click the Iris mod. All, all the links would be down in the description. Basically, Iris is shaders. Since Sodium does not have built-in shaders like Optifine, you need something else to install it, but I'll show you how to use Iris as well. So all you do is click files and then click the top one, which is here. So here are your two mods and what you want to do is just drag them in here. You want to go into your fabric installer and create a new profile. So once you've done all that at the very bottom here, it will come up with fabric loader 119.2 and all you need to do is click play. So this is my video world. This is where I do all my tutorials to get iris working all you need to do is press escape options video settings and at the very last corner column you see that it says shader packs and that's where you add your shader pack so at the bottom says order shader pack folder and that's where you just drop them in and after you've done all that you can click it click apply and done there is in fact an easier way to get to that sort of section the default key bind is O. Once you have the shader pack sorted out and selected to toggle it on and off, you just press K, it'll take a second or two, and there you are. You can toggle it on and off whenever you like, and it does not take, it doesn't take as long as Optifine did, basically. So if there's any issues with the shader pack, you can literally click R to refresh it if there's any bugs or glitches, so you don't need to turn it off and on or press F3 and T to reload the resource pack, you can just press R. So now it's time for the sodium settings. What you do is you press escape, options, video settings, and they only have four tabs for sodium, not like Optifine where you have to click like 16 different places just to get to where you wanna be. Um, when I installed sodium, it sort of just brung over my Optifine settings to Sodium, it just transferred it over. I'm not too sure if that was intentional or a bug or whatever, uh, but that's what it did for me. I'm not too sure if it will do it for you, but a really cool option for this is you can literally see what it says and what it does. Optifine did that as well, I think, uh, but this is a lot easier to read and it tells you the performance impact it could have on your gameplay, which is very good. It has high, medium, and low, and then it comes up with varies just depending on what's what. Uh, the quality on Optifine had you weather. You can turn that off. You can turn the rain off, thunder. You could turn the sun off, which is quite cool. On this, you can't. It just default fancy fast, and that's it. That's it. Uh, but your leaves quality can be high as well, can be uh, fancy and fast. Particles, you could turn every single bit of particles off and keep it minimal. Uh, but I think you have to download a mod extra just so you could do that. I think Tweakaroo allows you to do that, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and the performance is this. I'm not entirely sure what these mean, uh, but you could just hover over and it tells you what, what it does and if it impacts your gameplay or not. Uh, advanced, this is just an advanced section, it's not much to it, and then you get your shader packs, which is quite simple and easy to set up. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install Sodium and Iris in Minecraft. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.